<laughs> okay, we're back for part two. Sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, the primary targets are. Uh, ooh, where are we here? We're. Uh, we're gonna come in and, and uh, get this caldera there, number 34. And um, here, I can make this a little bigger. Just bear with me a moment here. That's where I need a red headed editor to help me out. <sighs> okay, that's no better. All right. Well, okay, there. You can at least see there's the equator, right? All right. So uh, we're gonna try and go under under that caldera, um, and. Uh, just north of 34, like I say, we want to, basically, we, we, we want this mass to swing down into the mantle and subduct, going towards the equator. Oops, I better watch out there, magnet. <sighs> Screw up my screen. Okay, and uh, the third one goes in under uh, hot spot number 28 there, I think. Is that right? No. And this map isn't quite right. <clears throat> yeah, well, I guess this map's incomplete. That's the problem here. So, anyhow, the third one's going to come in like this. So, let me get, get my angles better. I think we can do that again. Uh, like so, and these are the three shards that we managed to uh, to break the one into. Uh, under like so, and under like so, so as not to upset La Palma Island, which is going to go anyhow. <clears throat> not much you can do about that, but at least it will. Uh, be well shielded from the hydrogen and I'll show you the flows um, and then of course uh, now we've got on this the deorbiting the, the, uh, the, the body used for uh, as, as a uh, gravity engine to uh, zap these little uh, <clears throat> these three little wolves uh, Skull, Haiti and uh, Old Poppet Farron out of the sky is going to Deorbit in pretty well the opposite direction. Uh, so the idea is, is it's going to go under the ridge slowly. It'll uh, go deep down about under a, yeah, about like that. There we go. So it's going to penetrate from the opposite direction. And obviously the idea is to uh, get down the penetration down in into the trench so the majority of any uh, disturbance tidal disturbance is all absorbed in the walls of the trench and then just ejected straight back up which is where you're going to get an immediate flow coming back right even if you, <coughs> even before the uh, water makes it down and jacks up the uh, brown gas splitter the HHO splitter all right here we gotta this will kind of give you a few ideas of the yeah here's here's the way the winds will go uh, as far as the uh, fallout from all of this going to go with the uh, <clears throat> the fines coming coming out all the the water that the splash that comes up and a little bit of um, earth crust that comes up um, <clears throat> the uh, neutron star fragments that'll they'll, they'll stay in peace they'll they'll go way downward <clears throat> down where we need it says so they'll um they'll uh, shore up the core and uh, like I said, 
give an extra day or so. Let's uh, hang on to the uh, shield a little better through the incoming Ragnarok, which is, of course, coming in through the... Uh, the bulk of it should be coming in through the southwest like this. And this, this will be a red one. Uh, should be something like coming in like that. And over South America we'll get the, the brunt of it, but it will be well shielded, so we're open to influence all that. And bring it all down into the, uh, the majority of the Pacific, unlike last time when it was all North America. It's, uh, again, oh, too dark. Okay. We have the jet streams now at the higher levels, and this is where the hydrogen is going to take the hydrogen flow. Here, let's make this a little bigger. So, the majority of the uh, shoring up is, of course, going to be in the southern hemisphere because that's going to take the, uh, the brunt of it from the Scorpius Centaurus direction. Okay, coming up something like this. Yeah. That pretty well represents the brunt of the projected flow at this time <clears throat> and as I said we have to know we have to accelerate everything in case the uh, uh, the UN's taking over control and governance of all the oceans it's going to try and assume it so <clears throat> that would give them the assumed authority to try and intercept these uh, neutronium fragments and it cause all kinds of unpredictable problems <clears throat> look these things have been coming for a long time um that's part of what we were doing out there uh, to get them to come down in the best place, which again is going to be uh, going to be here. Uh, pardon me, here, here, and just on the cusp here. Okay, so you've got one in each of the zones, and um, there will be some hydrogen, and you. Uh, some uh, water splitting coming out of the uh, the one going in the opposite direction that's being used to deorbit these puppies, right? And that's going to be uh, at that that's where Atlantis is going to rise. So that that'll be <clears throat> well, I'm claiming all of them because I made them all. So I uh, just like the queen, I think she can claim all of this. Well, I'm claiming all of this land that I'm making. Law. <clears throat> so, the challenge then is to get this done accelerate the uh, program so we've got enough time to do that no problem pull uh, school and uh, Haiti and um, Baron out of their uh, out of their chasing orbits and um, let's uh get them going. Okay, now we have a little bit of help on the... There we go. The unupdated sky map. Don't, don't, don't mind all those. That, that's for the sky cast. And like I said, it's like over, way over 200 now, so... <clears throat> so there you have the red indicates the uh, water split water patterns uh, the, the pins would be uh, there, that works right the first impact here we go just gonna come in the final orbit will happen about over here uh, the final deorbiting up from the gravity engine going in the opposite direction right so the gravity engine is basically there going like that right but there is where will be the last pass so following the gravity engine will come around the earth and it'll be about over here when 
the impacts are all over and starting to form their little waves. So the first one is going to come in one shard of neutron star. One uh, that will be uh, Skull. And the second one, Haiti. And the third one is off on a little bit of an offside course. It will be right there. Okay, and then deorbiting this way. Just a little bit behind. got the uh, one being used for the gravity engine and uh, you can see it's um, HHO plume in the uh, candy cane colored and that's because it's not going to be anywhere near the volume of these it's or the length of time that will run right <clears throat> at uh, high capacity because it's not going down nearly as deep it's it's just nowhere near as dense <clears throat> we were really uh, we had to go a long way to bring these and, these puppies back. <clears throat> you know what they say about neutronium shards, right? I mean, I've told you before about what they want to split the earth up for. <clears throat> they want all these little gems in the core. And of course, they'll use the nickel iron core as a uh, crystalline core as a uh, one hell of a ship. Okay, so uh, the white will be the. Uh, Fair sized debris plume right, coming in right over there from the impact of the uh, deorbiting uh, the, the gravity engine, the yellow pin. Okay. And then afterwards, again, the candy cane, you can see how it goes up with the trade winds and then into the jet stream. They curve around and then they disperse out from there uh, because you get never rubbed more. The tips of these go to the mesosphere of the uh, H the hydrogen oxygen streams, and of course the oxygen is on the outside of the uh, column, right? You can have basically big columns, just like you get a volcano, <coughs> and uh, because of the hydrogen maintains its velocity while well, it goes up fastest, but we don't need to get into that in this discussion. Okay. Uh, and so but as much of the debris fill that, uh, <coughs> that the uh, fallout should uh, come well offshore. Sh sh shouldn't go much further than that. And that'll just be real fine stuff. So, you know, we're coming in at a shallow angle, but enough to, to do the penetrations and... Um, Mineral disturbance, like I say, everything's pretty well timed out. So the uh, each of them will have, you know, corresponding uh, tidal waves, right? Which will uh, have everyone out of the way long before them. And um, you know, because this one's first, uh, the idea is to try and get them to cancel a lot of their energy out, and that's exactly what will happen. Uh, even though these won't be large they will be high velocity and because they'll maintain the entry velocity which is what we need to get that deep penetration of the magma and of course the gravity engine is not very dense so a different story so good guys what do you guys think no problem, eh? Cindy? Sound like a plan? So, uh, then we'll have our own country, right? We'll have, well, three, four of them, but you can't, you won't be able to inhabit those other ones for quite some time, right? Until they start to cool off and uh, not generate so much hydrogen. And there's not to be a the weather out here. Uh, let's say I do claim all land base, but uh, I will. <clears throat> I'll be uh, occupying the uh, the northern one, Atlantis Risen first, and the th three rings. Oh, uh, I guess I didn't tell you guys why the rings. 
well, okay. I don't need to show you. You can use your imaginations. The things, three rings of Atlantis was, uh, you know, think of somebody that doesn't really know what they're looking at. Uh, the Van Allen belts. Um, think, um, think uh, the rings of Saturn. Okay, now you're getting it, right? <clears throat> um, that, uh, oh shit, what was the name of it? That uh, little uh, uh, planetoid with the rings that they just found uh, a little ways back there. So, anyhow, gas rings, right? <clears throat> okay, you got, you got the, the heavy oxygen ring that's turning into ozone as it reacts. And then above you got two hydrogen rings, right? So, oh, here, yeah, we can do this. Hold the camera, guys. Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. That's quite, quite clear. Okay. So, the way that that it gets densest, then you actually get bands and, 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 and rings. Just like that, your three rings, right? <clears throat> the oxygen tends to uh, band down at the lower layer, and the hydrogen at the higher layers. And so during solar activity or high excitation, you'll get like major borealis in the hydrogen bands. They uh, tend to uh, <coughs> attract the, uh, the solar plasma. But uh, that was just a little trivia, you know. That you heard Plato try to, what the fuck are they talking about here? Here, as he was watching the uh, the three D crystal projection on Atlantis and three rings of Atlantis, huh? Because yeah, well, think of two dimensional, right? He'd never been in the sky, so. Never, uh, never seen the springs of Saturn or none of it. So, anyhow, I hope that uh, clears things up. Um, like I say, we'll have, uh, before long here, we'll get this all done before uh, United Nations uh, claims all the oceans. We don't know. I, know, I don't want to have to go to war over my uh, three uh, water splitters and uh, Atlantis Risen, right? I'm, I'm not in... I'm not about that. I, uh, so there will be a new place uh, where we can, um, you know, communicate, disseminate I information, do uh, good life-serving science, and um, make the shit we need to uh, giddy up going to Mars, eh? Get you guys out. You know, the whole nine yards, the space cannons, and to get the bulk shit up there. Stuff like uh, SpaceX's Dragon, if you'll sell them, and I'm pretty sure Ilon is gonna be game for this, and I think you guys will all help him. And, uh, uh, well, now we got that 25 million, I mean, it's not much, but it'll you know, help uh, advertise all of this. And, so people know what's happening and can, uh, you know, get their shit off of the shore and, uh, and we'll, um, get this new country, to, this new nation together, uh, on, uh, Atlantis Risen and, um, <clears throat> we'll try and work out a, a real, uh, a real forum-style democracy, like, like you guys have never seen before and then that'll be your... You know, work out the bugs here while we're figuring out how to <clears throat> build all this shit to get, to get migrating to Mars. And you can take whatever works from that real democracy to, to Mars. Real Martian democracy. This will be the real Atlantean democracy, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, what can I say? Super veto powers for all the citizens. All right. Peace out. Hey, Kitty. That sound cool? And yeah, she, uh... She's actually quite happy here, and she doesn't think there's ever going to be any need to change anything. But, you know, <clears throat> she's a kid. Okay. Peace out, y'all. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.
Now you might live long and prosper. It's up to you. I'm doing my thing anyhow. I don't care about anyone else. Uh, if they feel that what I'm doing is going to cause them harm, speak the fuck up. And uh, we'll uh, get remedying that. And uh, if I figure you're going to do my harm, or you're getting in, in my way, rather than let it go to war, I'll make sure to let you know. So we can remedy that, eh? Take care of y'all. And um, those that want to f- make a new way, let's do her. And uh, I'll give you what help I can in getting up to orbit, but, you know, because <clears throat> I realize it's a big thing. But, you know, you guys will be really fucking desperate by that time. So, uh, this will be ahead of the Mars demonstration. We were, you know, originally working on a little little demos for you there, but, uh, well, shit changes. <sighs> okay. Now, I'm not saying you guys shouldn't be learning to take care of your oceans. Uh, I mean, look at what you're dumping in it from, uh, from Fukushima, eh, GE? Hey, Queen Elizabeth? Killing off people. All the life. Not just homo sapiens, all the life. You have domain over nothing, you. None of you. <clears throat> However, uh, do your thing and, you know, you it wipe yourselves out there'll be some of us to come back and reclaim my earth I'm not gonna fight you over it there's just there's too much other places that could be made on earth that no one has a claim to and there's too many fucking places in the solar system and, and like I said this is your your you had 10 then you flunked you had two uh, you flunked that dude too I'm, I'm giving you one 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 fucking law which is kind of like along the being mindful and in being fruitful and multiplying law, whatever clause that was in the first two sets. One fucking law. Go serve life to the universe. So it's, it's the first meaning of life. All life. Survival, right? Want to go extinct? Eh? Dinosaur. That's a dinosaur tongue. That's what that is. Alright. Alright, take care. Much tough fucking love. I don't chew a bubble gum, but I sure as the hell kick ass to Mars. You guys better get your act together. We still got a little bit of time left. Okay, no more time for fighting. No more time for wasting my Earth's resources on destroying one another and feeding this military industrial complex that the globalists have built this, this great beast. You got your priorities. You'll, you'll soon agree. I.